Hi guys, uh, welcome to Matt's Plants. So, after kind of a long hot summer, um, not too much going on in the Highland tank, but I thought I'd point a few things out for things that are coming up and uh, a few things that are out. So we've got uh, my Nepenthes, um, which have shown some real, real growth this year. They've really put on some, uh, some size, looking very, very cool. Let's get some more of those. Uh, Restripia Dodd Sunny Eye, which I think you've seen before in one of the videos. Again, has really, really bloomed quite heavily. Look really, really good. Um, so these are my Mastervalia Caesia. They were in a very, very constrained, I say they, uh, it was one plant or sold as one plant in a very constrained net pot. Sort of grows, they grow upside down. Is why they're dangling down um, sort of really amazing blue blue colored leaves so I separate them out to mount them uh, so they both been mounted this one I've had to mess about with a little bit more it dropped on the mount uh, a lot of the, the moss fell off I clearly didn't do a very good job of it but it looks okay now uh, this one's been great and you can see there there Nice new growth coming, so I'm really excited by those. They're amongst my favourite Mastervalias. Um, amazing blue leaves, the upside down habitat, and the fact that the flowers smell of cheese, I think is probably the nicest way of putting it. Kind of rotting cheese. Some people say rotting flesh, but mine when it flowered was cheese. So I'm hoping they will flower. I think they flowered in the winter last time, so fingers crossed. Um, so in terms of master values that are out, uh, the Sunset Jaguar and the Sunset Jaguar cutting um, both flowered and did really nicely. This is another little master valia. I'm going to put the name on the screen because I can't pronounce it. Uh, so that had only two spikes on it. One, one made it, one blasted. Uh, but a really nice little thing. So I'm hoping for more than that, more of that in the future. Really nice. The Exquisitor or Exquisitor Hybrid. Whatever it is, looking a bit battered now that. But there's another spike on it. I can see down there somewhere. There you go. Very, very consistent flower, which probably makes me think that it is a hybrid, actually, not an exquisitor. Um, so, in terms of stuff coming up as we go into the cooler nights, which these things like. So, this I'm quite excited by. So, this will be definitely a video uh, in a few days. This is a Pluro. Thallus rather than a Master Valia. It's Pleurothallus violacea. So I've looked on this online, it has little black or very dark sort of purple flowers. You can see there's two spikes on it. This ugly thing is my Drosera binata. Uh, sort of flowers every year, keeps the bugs down. Dies back in the winter, so it's dying back now. Uh, kind of hideous, really, but it serves its purpose. Um, the <laughs> So this, I've never shown this orchid, so this is a Stenoglottis uh, longifolia, folia, yeah, which was once described to me by a well-known orchid grower in the UK as just an ugly orchid. I won this in a, well, I don't know whether I won it or whether I paid for it. I got this at an orchid show, no, an orchid meeting, uh, and I paid like two quid for it, and I think the guy was glad to see it go, and having grown it, I can understand why. So it dies back and every year it grows again and then you get all these huge long spikes which grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and then flower and it's really not very impressive. Um, I need to get rid of it really. It doesn't do anything for me and every year it just takes up space. Uh, this is I'm quite pleased to see this has come back. This is my uh, Utricliaria nilumbifolia. I've never had a great deal of success with it. So in the wild, it grows in bromeliads, which is why it's in it's basically just sphagnum moss water. It's utricularia, so it catches small bugs in its roots. I tried it in the highland tank before, and it didn't really grow well. I tried it upstairs in the warmer tank, and it kind of did nothing. I've put it back down in the, in the highland, uh, and it's doing better. I was reading it does need cooler nights, which I'm just not getting at the moment. The weird weather in the UK is causing all sorts of issues. One minute it feels autumnal, and then the next minute we have, you know, 23 degrees again, like it is now. Nothing going on, but it's growing, yeah, nicely. I've got a sentimental attachment to this uh, for reasons I'm not going to go into, so I'm hoping it does 
does okay. New growth on the Master Valia Lata, I think that is. Maculata, sorry, which is cool. I like that one. Um, I think I've shown the flowers on that. Oh, I've got another cutting of that somewhere. God knows. I need to sort through these, figure out what I've got. I've also got spikes on this, which is the Master Valia. Go on, don't break the spike, don't break the spike. Tavarensis, which I'm very excited about. Uh, even if it's only one, one flower spike. I thought there was two. Yes, there are, there's two. Is the other one there? That is, uh, has been a bit up and down for me, so I'm really glad it's never flowered before. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. I've tried to do a bit of maintenance on some of these. They've had mild fertilization this year, which they haven't had in the past. Uh, trying to, some of them have suffered, I think, a little bit with the heat and stuff. So I'm just trying to hope and pray that everything comes back well and we get some good solid growth in the winter. Uh, that little thing as well, that's quite interesting. That was a dendrobium. I'm glad to see new growth on that, although I have a sneaking suspicion that this will not like the cold. Cool-ish, but not cold, and I think it's going to get too cold for this at night, so it might, might go back inside in the warm, although it didn't seem to do very well there. Maybe. So, uh, yeah. So as you know, which I really need to cut back. Nice new growth on those Mastavalias. These are Cephs, little Cephs that I just keep in the Highland. Um, they do okay, they do better upstairs, but... Selaginella hunkinata, which isn't showing really its blue colour. Um, another little Nepenthes down there. It's shown some growth. Red, red, red Wardiana, I think. Something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's that's how things are. I'm thinking the new LED light is perhaps a touch strong for that. The Master Valley and the, um, the Nep, you can see the, the leaves have got quite a red colour. Um, but my Pleurothalids and my Marses seem okay. They can, Master Valleys, take more light, I think, than most people think they can. Um, it's always quite surprising. I was told by a grower that he seems it was Ignea, he said, which I've got which flowers in the winter. Always oh, seems much uh, to grow in very exposed spots unexpectedly. But yeah, more to come hopefully. Um, thank you very much, and I'll uh, hopefully have more to show in the next video.